Hey guys, uh, I had another idea uh, to show you uh, a tip on using your new meters that comes in handy. Um, you're going to be learning about battery load testers and how they operate, how to do a load test, you know, with the tester. Well, you can do the same type of test with your uh, DVOM and you can uh, basically uh, just hook it up to uh, the battery which is up here I just had a couple jumper leads put it to battery positive and negative and then it's gonna go in here inside the vehicle so you can uh, crank crank over the engine and then watch the meter now um, there's a couple different ways that you can do this one way is if you want to do this test you've got to just basically uh, disable the fuel system and uh, to keep it from flowing fuel into the cylinders while you're cranking and there's different ways of doing that uh, a lot of the newer systems you basically just have to disconnect the electrical uh, system from the engine um, whether that has to do with just completely taking power away from the ECM or just basically taking away power from the injectors it depends on the setup that you have but anyway what you do is you after you've got everything disabled and you just have it where you just want to crank the engine over crank the engine over for about a good uh, yeah for 15 seconds and if the battery voltage doesn't drop below 10 volts, the book says, I know for load test, if it doesn't drop below 9.6, well, the battery load tester uh, can put a little bit more load on it, but I've been doing these tests in the field for quite a while now, and you, you end up knowing what to look for, but this will, uh, this will help you give you a ballpark idea of the condition of the battery and whether or not it's good or not. Um, and this will especially be handy in the field on a service call. So if you're out on the road and you're on the service call, you know, what are you more likely going to have in your service box? You're going to have a multimeter. You're not going to have a load tester unless you've got like a really big uh, truck to hold it in or one of those expensive uh, load testers that's over you know a thousand bucks you know but you can do the same ty type of test with a DVOM so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to disable the fuel system and ignition just by pressing on the accelerator pedal on this vehicle because the truck it has a full flood mode if you put your foot to the floor it disables the fuel injectors and it won't let the engine start so I can crank this over all day with my foot to the floor and it won't start the engine. Some uh, cars have this feature, others don't. I wouldn't recommend trying it unless you know for a fact that your vehicle does have it. So, for your own personal vehicle. On the big stuff, uh, outside of what I do at, at my job, I don't know. And so, anyway, I'll go ahead and do the test. I'm gonna put the meter here. As you can see, you got, uh, there's a little bit of a surface charge on the battery got about uh, 12.85 volts okay just gonna put it right here that way you can see it and I'm gonna crank the engine over and watch the meter okay yeah, here we go Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And there we go, that's it. And if you noticed what how the engine was cranking, it was cranking very good and the battery voltage it didn't drop below eleven volts. So that's a darn good battery. Um, the only thing you gotta keep in mind is you know with uh, temperature temperature too as it gets colder outside you're gonna have uh, less available voltage so 
you got to take that into account also. During the wintertime, if it's really cold out, I usually go by uh, the yeah, about 9.5 volts usually if it's really cold. All depends on temperature, but uh, normal ballpark figure I go by is 10 volts. Anything lower than 10 volts during regular weather time, that battery is starting to get weak. Okay. Um, another cool thing you can do with this, say if you don't know how to disable the fuel or ignition or whatever type of fuel source you have on a tractor, combine, whatever, and you want to do this test, another cool way to do this is you can use your min-max feature on your meter. And it won't be an extended test, but it'll at least give you uh, somewhat of an idea, you know, of the condition of the battery and if you need to proceed further. So all you have to do is you hit your min-max button, hit min-max, okay, and it's in the 60 volt range, okay. So then all I'm going to do is I'm going to crank the engine over and it's going to show me the minimum value that the battery drops to as I start the engine. And then it'll give me the maximum value when uh, charging voltage kicks in. This can also help you and see what the peak charging voltage happens after the engine is started. So I'm going to start it. from bond proceeds through a state program that issues bonds for capital projects back with state sales tax revenue. And as you can see, it's counting up. The min-max value is counting up because the charging voltage is increasing. And if I rev it a bit, it's going up some more. See? Okay, I'm going to let off now. I'll show you the min-max. Hit the, the min-max. Okay, minimum voltage. Cranking over 10 volts. Okay. That's the average, 13.3. And then this is what the battery's charging at now. This is showing you live voltage, live data right now. Hit the button again and the maximum is 13.86 volts hit the minimum uh, 10 volts and uh, 80 millivolts that's the minimum okay so that's it that's just another cool feature of uh, your meter um, you also have Another thing I forgot to mention, you've got auto hold, which is actually a very nice feature. I'll show that to you. Just hold on a sec. All right, to make auto hold work, you hit the hold button twice, it'll say auto hold, as you can see on the meter. Now I'm going to take this lead, I'm going to put it on ground, and now it gave me 13 volts, okay? And I took the lead off, as you can see, and it's holding. So it's kind of cool if you're like in a dark, damp area, you can't see very well, you're having a hard time getting your measurement, just put your leads in there to get your measurement. You'll hear a beep. When you hear a beep, then you can get out under the way and look at your meter, and it's right there. So that's a really nice feature of this meter. So anyway, that's it. I thought I'd show that to you because I forgot to... Um, talk about the auto hold and I wanted to give a better example on min max uh, for you guys too so anyway that's it I hope you like it and uh, I'll see you all in the class bye